to season four of Powhana Travel. Here we are in Key West. I am Stacy. I'm Gary. And again, we are Powhana Travels. Powhana means done with work, quitting time, and happy hour in the Hawaiian language. Yes. And we couldn't think of a better way to describe our channel here on YouTube. Now this is season four on YouTube for our travels, and this is gonna be a huge year from us. Big time travel. So we are starting here in the southernmost part of uh, the United States in the lower 48, in the contiguous, and we are headed to? Alaska, but not just Alaska. We're gonna drive the motor home from Key West all the way through Canada into Alaska, into Fairbanks, and then we're gonna take a plane tour up to Barrow, Alaska, the northernmost village in North America. You can't drive to Barrow, hence why we have to fly there. Yes. But in all, it's going to be an 8,000 mile journey. One way. And we're taking you along with us. Come along with us, guys, and enjoy the adventure. All right, we got a long way to go. Yes, here we go. We're getting started now. Oh, listen to the waves on the beach. Isn't that nice? A beach. A beach, yes. We found a beach in the Keys. You know, the Keys are like a lot of reefy structure and, and the mangroves and stuff like that. So it really is hard to find beachy type atmosphere here in, in the Keys. And we're actually on Key West now and we're at Smathers Beach. This is one of the nicest beaches I've seen in a long time. And it's here on Key West. There's one other beach that we're gonna check up uh, here called Higgins. I believe it's just, just down south the of here, closest to the southernmost point of the lower 48. All right, we'll head there in a little bit. But this is a beach, you don't see that in the Keys very often, and it's being used. There's, a, there's people all down both sides. This is just one section. Down further, there's some volleyball courts, and, and people are playing volleyball. Up Gazebos, right. people were having picnics. Big old picnics and barbecues there's going on. There's people out in the water, and parasailing, boating. Looks and like today, paddleboard lessons. Today is a perfect Saturday oh, afternoon beautiful. to be enjoying all this. Right, it's 80 some degrees right now, very, very calm winds. The seas are very small, very light. So, uh, wow, it's a beautiful day. So, we're gonna, I don't know. Continue on, we're yeah. riding our bikes today. So, we're gonna continue riding around, see what yep. we can find. We'll give you some shots of the beach too. And, uh, wow, enjoy it, guys. It's beautiful here. Well, I guess our carrier is good for something other than Sophie. Right, it's come in very handy today to carry the extra gear we got. So, very nice to have. Got water in there and camera tripods. Extra this, extra that. So, do you want to talk about our rad bikes since we're nearing one year of having them? Nearing one year and I've only got 40 miles, you mean? I think that's more than I have on my <laughs> However, they are pretty rad bikes. Uh, so these are um, electric bikes uh, with a lithium battery pack and a 650 watt uh, rear hub to uh, help power the bike. Um, you know, you can cru cruise maximum speed on the battery assistance with about, about, at about 20 miles an hour. If you pedal, you can go a little bit faster. Um, they got the fat tires, so they're very, very, um, you can use them on multiple surfaces. We could ride them on the sand if they would allow bikes on the sand, on the beaches here, but they don't allow the bikes on the beach here. Um, very comfortable to ride too. I know Stacy changed her seat out a little bit and it's been a lot more comfortable for her for longer times on the bike. Um, gosh, they're just a lot of fun. We love our rad power bikes. They're, uh, they're good. If you would like to learn more about RAD, you can go to our website, to our Partners and Affiliates page. We do not have an affiliate re uh, relationship with RAD Power Bikes. However, we do have a customer referral relationship with them. So anyone that buys their RAD Power Bikes and mentions that they heard about them through Powhana Travels, we get a $50 gift certificate that we can use any way we wish. And if you refer anyone, once you're a Rad Power Bike owner, you get the same referral service as well. So 
it's uh, definitely a, a family affair. No, I don't want to Oh man, it's nice out here. I just love the water, the ocean. Beautiful. We're standing on a pier right now, just off of Higgs Beach. Yes. Uh, Samuel Higgs, I believe. And uh, we're about oh. 100 yards offshore. Maybe. On Maybe. a pier. Yeah. Out here, just watching the watching the waves come in, the, the birds diving into the uh, seaweed over here behind the camera. It's pretty neat. And it's you know, sailboat off. It's distance. just it's just pure ocean out there until you hit Cuba, 90 miles away. <laughs> pure blue water. It is pretty. Well, there's a little brown right here. But... Yeah, it's just coastal pure. But this is just beautiful, guys. Um, if you ever get a chance to make it out to Key West, definitely uh, get some bikes and go riding around on bikes. It's a whole different experience than the, a, uh, you know, a, you, can, you can get a tour on a bus or something like that. You, you're restricted to where you can get off and on. Uh, the island's small enough. You can get around the whole thing on a bike, and, and it's so much easier. You can go at your own pace. Everybody's very friendly uh, uh, towards bicycle on the road. Um, it's, just, it's, it's really an easy way to get around. So I really highly suggest either bringing your bikes or renting some bikes. There's quite a few bike rentals around here. Driving around a car is very difficult on this tiny island. Finding a parking spot, especially with a truck. And if you find one, it's going to be a lot of money. Four dollars an hour. Like yeah. till midnight, 8 a.m. Yeah. to midnight, doesn't matter. Uh -huh. Today we parked in a grocery store parking lot and pulled out the bikes and we were just seeing it by a bicycle. It's great, we love it guys. I might have got Are it. Are you getting that? I might have got it. Here goes another one. Oh my god, that is so cool. Alright guys. So if you watch these birds, watch this one. He's about to dive, and there he goes. Boom. And every time they go in there, they catch a fish. Oh, no. Oh, watch him. And boom. Two of them. <laughs> and now they're fighting over the fish. He's like, that was mine. Well, we're in line. This might take a while. Look who we just found. That's Aaron and Bill with Gypsy and around. And I think their decal needs a little uh, company. So. <laughs> Well, we've left our mark at the southernmost point of North America, here at the Key West Buoy, right along with our friends, Gypsy and Around, Aaron and Bill. Hey guys, we're in our, in our bike trip around uh, Key West here. We have found ourselves at the corner of Fleming and Whitehead, and this happens to be the end of US-1. If you look right behind Gary's shoulder here, that's it, mile zero. So we've driven all the way down here. The truck has actually made it to this stop. We were here yeah. the other night. We drove by here in the truck. But uh, this is another iconic Key West photo stop. Absolutely, and of course, we're here. And we're still looking for lunch, so let's go. Yep, lunchtime, or late dinner, early dinner. Late dinner. Dinner, lunch, dinner. Dinner. Well, we're currently down at Mallory Square, and this is the heart of Key West during sunset hour. All the street performers come down here. You can see a gentleman right here next to us. I think he swallows swords or something, but he's getting ready for the evening crowds, and everyone around are setting up their booths for tonight's entertainment. It is Saturday night, so it should be a fun evening here at Mallory Square. Oh, look at there. 
This is what he does. Scary stuff, man. What's happening? Oh, we had dinner. It was good. Now we gotta have more drink. Oh, no, no, now we're going to Mallory Square. Sunset time, Mallory Square, see some freaks. And uh, whatever else we can find. Okay, we've made it back down to Mallory Square here and uh, we've got some performers going on. The uh, hula hoop, spinning fire over here. Looks like we'll have some drums there in a minute. We got some guy doing some juggling and other stuff over here. There's a sword swallower over there. Uh, man, there's some cool stuff going on right here and it's getting busy and crazy. So we're gonna walk around a little bit and uh, maybe get some entertainment for y'all. Oh. The hand. Being from the west coast, the sun sets in the west. We go to the coast, the sun sets over the water. That's just how it's supposed to be. When you're on the east coast, the sun sets over land. It's not nearly as fun. It's just something else. So, happy day, guys. Every day is a happy day. We got to see another sunset. And, uh, God, thanks for following us along. Well, that was a great day in Key West on our bikes. We had a great day. We saw some beautiful beaches and a whole bunch of other stuff down the Ball Street. A good dinner, some great entertainment out here at the square. We are surrounded Ooh. by tons of people right now, but I think we need to go find our bikes yeah. and make our way back to the truck before it gets too dark. Too dark. That sounds about right. Yep. Just to be safe. I think we're going to watch the cruise ship kind of turn around and take off and sail into the sunset, and then uh, we'll do the same thing. If you like this video, please give us a subscribe. Give it a big thumbs up uh, down below. Leave us any comments if you have any questions about Key West. Put them down below. We'll answer them for you. All right, guys. Take care. All right. Safe travels. Until next time, pow Pau Next time on Pau Hana Travels, we check another item off our bucket list and take a seaplane adventure out to Dry Tortugas National Park. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss our next Pau Hana adventure. As always, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up down below. Leave us a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We thank you for watching. Until next time, Pau Hana. Hana.